So it's the start of Season 6 on Lost Redemption, a South African ARC server, 15 times rates, cluster, PvP, PvE. And this time I'm not playing solo, I'm in a full tribe, and we're gonna raid this base here on the island. For some reason they have their turrets targeting wild dinos. I mean, considering the location, but I mean, couldn't you just pick somewhere safer, dude? So I'm, I'm like, my original plan was like, maybe run around this corner, take out this first turret, and then run around, but then we brought the tribe over, and we're gonna think of using a stego and kind of like rocket run, blow up the turrets, and, and work our way in there. So this is basically what happened there. So unfortunately, I lost the game sounds and uh, the Discord sounds, so this is only me talking in the background, so that kind of sucks, but we'll fix that for the next video. So yeah, we got the turrets down, except there's one there, and I'm trying to C4 with this stupid tool. In the rush of things, I literally thought this was my C4 tool, but this is the basic transfer tool from S Plus that looks exactly like the C4 remote, dude. You're kidding me. So then we got the Stego out, and we decided to resort to just running this turret here in my original plan. Take this one out here so we can get closer access to the base where it can just run around the corner. And that turret's gone, so yeah. So now we can sneak up here and see what's happening with the base and what's going on there. There's, I thought there was going to be ammo in there, actually. That's weird. So... You can kind of see what we're dealing with over here. You can see some of the turrets there are already taken down. There's still some left there. There's three over there, and I believe there's two, two up there. And we can actually jump down here and maybe, like, rocket or do something. Oh, shit, I'm getting shot. Damn it, almost died there. 57 damage. That's a two times turret damage on the server, dude. It's crazy. There goes the Stego. He's going to do a rocket run, take out the rest of those turrets. And kaboom! And now that that's dealt with, we actually have a blind spot that we can use here to line of sight the lost two turrets right at the top there. So we got our good friend Lehaxor here putting some C4 on the side of the base here to get in there to take out the generators to turn off those damn turrets that are over there just like mocking me, just waiting for me. And there we go, he's inside the base now. Now we just need to take out the gen and hopefully the turrets go down. One of the turrets is still active. <laughs> what? One of them's down, one of them is still active. That makes no sense, dude. Where the hell... Is there another generator in there? Okay, but I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go take a little sneak peek. What's inside this base here? Oh, I'm gonna do, like, a little sprint. Uh, yeah, gotta go fast! Man, that actually was really quick. Alright, so there's no generator in here, but there's stuff lying everywhere now. Dead bodies all over the place. Where the hell is that thing getting its power from, dude? That makes no sense. Okay, so we got that stuff down there. Fabi is down. That turret is still active, dude. I don't know where the... I don't know where that thing's getting power from. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, let's check what the stuff is here. Um, gasoline. That's eh. um, this one's got a bunch of stuff there. Um, we'll take the meat. We do need that at back at base. Uh, some of those for no reason. Take the cryopods and the compound bow. Take this and this. We'll do the boss fight now. Now and yeah, that's. Pretty much it. I don't know why I take hide in flint, man. I'm just like, I'm so used to grinding them that I'll just take them for free whenever I can get them. Yeah, ultimately this this base didn't have too much. Um, we just kind of like just looted what we could. I got like a 1,400 polymer. That was a great kind of thing to get from here, but that's honestly it. I mean, you can see like what we're putting on my Bloodstalker here. Like this is pretty much what we got from the, from the base, some exceptional kibble and superior kibble and shit like that, you know? Not really major stuff, though. And since this turret was annoying me so much, I came up with an idea to do something like this. I'm sure we can just line of sighted from where I am right now. I'm like right under the turret and just shoot a rocket up and it will shoot the rocket and blow itself up. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the plan I came up with. I accidentally broke my damn chest piece. Oh. So I'm waiting here. The Hexor is blowing it up there. Um, I don't know if it works here. And uh, there was like a little bit of a lag spike that happened here, I believe. Yeah, like like something yeah that was weird like it just it seems to be like rumber banded and then he died and for some reason the turret is still alive so we decided to take it out from the top there someone sneaking up right at the back there and take it out and it is finally gone dude that stupid turret that was tormenting us so much now i'm gonna go see how much ammo these damn things had so this first one over here on the hatch frame here looks like it has 450 i'll take that that's actually that's actually not that bad I'll, that's like an easy thing oh cool another 439 that's that's great so we got at least 900 bullets and how much was in here <laughs> Dude, you're going to be so pissed when you see how much ammo is still in this fucking turret. It's 14. <laughs> so that lost turret literally only had 14 bullets, and we went through so much trouble just to blow it up. 
<laughs> Dude. So we took what we got and we decided to head off, put everything on my Bloodstalker and, you know, separate it around different types of Bloodstalkers here. And we decided to head to the obby to kind of like teleport back home and, you know, unpack and go come back here to do the Broodmother boss. So, yeah, we're just basically racing to see who can get to the Obelisk Tower first. It was like an un, like, you know, an unsaid race. Like, we're all racing, but nobody said it's a race, but like, we're all trying to get there as fast as we can. And I just kept getting stuck here. And the island is so hard to use the blood stalker sometimes because it doesn't want to like make that little like you know selection thing on some trees like you can aim at a tree and it's like no fam i got nothing to grab over there so it's like spider-man would die in this damn place dude but yeah i managed to make it here first and i was like yeah i won the silent competition that wasn't really happening and yeah that's that's pretty much what we got here i kind of put everything on my inventory we unloaded everything off of the blood stalkers um and now we're going to teleport back to our our base where i'm not going to mention the location because the this is actually a really recent video and we just started the wipe on Friday so yeah it's kind of kind of really really recent so I'm just gonna cry out this and we're gonna come back here and do the boss so I've transported everything back home fucking hell what happened to my accent? And keep my Bloodstalker safe here. <laughs> and now we're doing the boss. Uh, except we're one person short. He, we started accidentally without him being here. But yeah, we're going to have to redo this fight here. And yeah, this is the kind of plan here. We're going to grapple straight to the roof. This is actually my first boss fight. I didn't tell them that was my first boss fight. Because I feel like a noob more than I already do. Because I only have like 400 hours in arc. And yeah, we're basically going to hang from the ceiling. Use parachutes and grappling hooks. And shotgun the Broodmother down. Yeah, that's that's legitimately the plan. We all have 500 shotgun shells. We've got decent shotguns. I've, and while we were doing the boss, I, I jokingly said an inside joke to tell someone to soak the boss because they try to soak an avalanche. And this is what happened. <laughs> you can literally hear them laughing through my headset into the microphone, dude. Like, that's how crazy that situation was, dude. It was so unexpected and just completely random. And it was, dude... I had so much fun doing this boss because of how funny that was. So we have to do this fight anyway because he died and we, we left one player out. And this is the first time I've unlocked tech stuff legitimately. That's pretty fantastic. Next order of business is getting Reapers. But we're in aberration and this bear rocks up, dude. He just he just rocks up here and he starts to run. And we're just like, get him. Get him, dude. I wish. I <laughs> wish I had the Discord sounds for this, dude. It was so dude. epic. It was so, like, look at this. This guy was shitting himself. He was like, he was running for his life on this little ass bear. And we're chasing him with four blood stalkers and two rock tracks, dude. He got absolutely murdered. We pulled him off with the blood stalker. We literally beat the crap out of him, killed his bear. Because obviously it wasn't aggressive here. I think it was actually attacking that random Paris or <laughs> Paris, Paris Serenium, whatever the fuck that thing's called. Bro, and we're like all laughing our asses off here. And then this guy says this in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> now he's like wow biki on nudah which basically means well that's a bit unnecessary like what the fuck and yeah so a, a reason to come to the aberration place of doom where i dude i hate this map so much it's so annoying was to get reapers and we're we're busy traveling here in like a pack here and it's so hard to follow friends when you're all on blood stalkers and everyone's flying everywhere and this freaking thing happens this happens here some cold spore activates and, <laughs> dude, this shit kills three of us. It kills three of us. Like, I didn't realize that. I was like, okay, cool. I can actually survive this. It's like, you know, my health is going down, like, not that much. But I'm, I'm about to pass out. The problem is, is that once I do pass out, I actually die. I, the moment I, I pass out, I die for some reason. I'm like, w w what? Yeah, so that's this video. Hope you guys are waiting for a new one. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And I'll see you guys in our next adventure.